So I go to the doctor, and she's doing all her tests, and, and she says, Has, have you ever had your thyroid checked with your history? And I said, no, I don't think so. And she says, well, let's run some tests on you. So we had it checked, and sure enough, it was way off the chart. It was completely overcompensating, trying to make up for um, the lack of the hormone, the thyroid hormone. So that's when I found out. And then it kind of all had made sense because the symptoms had been happening of the fatigue. And I was just thinking, oh, I'm working so hard, I'm tired. You know, when really it was beyond that. And the hair loss. And um, I mean, it wasn't hair loss like radiation hair loss, but your hair starts to thin out. And um, skin irritation, just having dry skin. Um, I mean, all sorts of things that, you know, just are not the normal you sort of mood swings, depression a little bit, and I'm thinking, that's not my nature. So it all made sense, and so that's when she was able to put me on a medication and that I'm still taking now. I would love to not have to take you know, a medication for the rest of my life, but if all that it is is taking a little pill every morning, then so be it. I have this here, where my initial biopsy had happened, and for the longest time, people would say, is that a hickey? What do you have going on over there? <laughs> and every time I'd have to say, no, it, I, had, I had a small surgery. I, I was real careful with thinking, I had to think about who I wanted to go there with and explain the whole story. Some people I'd just say, no, I just had some minor surgery here and, you know, not have to go there. But other times, if I felt it was appropriate, I would share that. But it does get easier over time. I mean, if I were to wear anything that was midriff bearing, a bikini or anything like that, obviously my scar from the spleen being removed is, is quite visible. But um, nowadays, at this point, 15, 16 years later, it's, it's a part of who I am. And if it comes up in conversation, I mean, it's not like I wear it on my sleeve and I say, I'm a cancer survivor. But if it comes up, I'm, I'm very comfortable talking about it because I'm still working through it myself. And so it's still a learning experience with every single day. It's not easy to deal with a stressful job. Um, I can't stop. So for example, I'll come home and I may not actually have anything to do. I may not have work that I've brought home or that I need to log on and, and do. It drives me crazy. I can't just be still. And um, I don't know if that's, you know, has a, something to do with being a cancer survivor and that I want to always keep my mind busy and on other things. And it may be, but um, one way that I've found to, to deal with all the stress is just to, to keep myself engaged in the things that I enjoy. So as, as crazy as it may sound, sometimes getting in, logging on to my email for work and clearing my inbox <laughs> is very relieving to me because I feel like, okay, I've, I've reduced my stress signific significantly from having to come in the next day and have 80 emails that I've got to respond to. I think one of the best ways to deal with the stress, whether you're someone like me who can't stop and is always wanting to do something, is to just think about the things that bring you pleasure in your life and, and pursue them, you know, whether it's the dream of becoming a singer, which I still have in the back of my mind one day maybe. Um, I have a tape. Uh, would be fun, you know, and why not? Just sort of follow your bliss. My name is Fayrouz Ben Youssef. I'm 31 years old and I'm a Hodgkin's disease survivor.